many people I talk to think that my God's a kind of Greek God, the God of lightning. Do a bit of atmospheric physics and you don't need that God anymore. And they think that the God of the Bible is like one of the ancient Greek gods. Well, there's a lot to be said about that. But let me just say that God is not a God of the gaps like that. But the important thing is, and I didn't understand this in the debate for a long time, Hawking particularly saying you've got to choose between God and science, and I couldn't understand that until I realized that the God he's talking about is defined to be in competition with science. You see, if you define God to be the explanation for what science has not yet explained, then you have to choose between God and science as a matter of logic. And I usually point out when that is said that the book of Genesis, how does it begin? In the beginning, God created the bits of the universe we don't yet understand. Well, not quite. He created the heavens and the earth. That's the whole show. The bits we do understand and the bits we don't understand. And the interesting thing about Isaac Newton, Arnold Penzias, Kepler, and all the rest of them it was the bits they did understand that pointed towards God. 